Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and we installed PrestaShop in the last video. Now, for this video, what I want to do is give you a tour of the front and back end of PrestaShop. I'm going to show you the front end, what it all looks like after you've installed with all of the sample data and everything, and then I'm going to show you the back end, where you can go to start configuring your site. This is going to be a brief overview, however, we're going to cover each topic individually in later videos. So keep watching, I'm going to show you that now. So now that we've installed PrestaShop, we have what PrestaShop calls our front office and our back office. As you saw in the last video, we clicked both of those links and we have the front end of our store, which is what customers are going to see, and we have the back office of our store, which is where you're going to be managing all of your content, where you're going to be publishing your products, where you're going to be determining how this this site looks. It's also where you manage your orders, pretty much where you handle all of the configuration and the day-to-day -day process of the store. Let's take a look at the front end of the store first and just see what you're getting. Basically out of the box here we have this default theme where you have a promotional banner up top here, an area for your logo, a search functionality, our standard cart type functionality, and uh, let's come back to the home page here. Uh, main navigation with some categories, with some subcategories. We have a feature where we have some sales and then some products where we can choose between new arrivals, popular, best sellers, that type of thing. And then some more category callouts, some social integration, newsletter integration, and then our footer content, which has things like about the store and some more social items down here. Now your site isn't limited to look like this. You can find themes online to download and we'll go over that in another video. However, for these first few videos, we're just going to be using this default theme here. Let's click on a product and see what it looks like. Okay, we have the main image and several other supporting images that are in a little carousel here. You can't really tell because there's only four images, but if we were to have five images, uh, when you click this next button, you'd get the next one. This view larger button brings up the image in a light box where you can move between them. And we can even share out this product on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, or Pinterest, print it or send it to a friend. This basic functionality rivals what you'd see in most online stores and is even much nicer than many other free e-commerce platforms. So check it out. It's pretty much everything you'd want on a product page. Okay, we're not going to go through the whole ordering process now. We'll go over that in another video. So let's head over to the back office. So let's take a look at what we have here. On our left is where your main navigation is going to be. Up top we have some quick access items. We can look at orders placed. We can look at new customers. We can look at latest messages. And we can even see things like merchant expertise where they give you badges for doing things like completing your profile. If you need help at any point, there's this lifesaver over here with the words help. If you open this in a new tab, you can see that it takes you to some administrative area help documents. Okay, let's check out what's going on here in our main navigation. Our dashboard is simply this page that we land on here with this basic information. Next we have catalog. Now catalog is where we're going to manage all of our product items. And when you see when we enter this or we hover over it, it enters this sub menu where we have options for products, categories, monitoring, product attributes, product features, manufacturer snippets, tags, and attachments. We'll go over exactly what those are in a little bit, but as you can probably guess, products, which is your main landing page for categories, is a listing of all your products where you can search or filter them. Now next up is orders, and like the name suggests, it's going to be the orders that are placed on your site. You can see that they have the reference ID, uh, they have where it's going, the customer, the total, the payment type, and we even have the status, whether it's canceled, payment error, awaiting check, awaiting bank wire. And we can even look at things like invoices, merchandise returns, delivery slips, credit slips, statuses, and order messages here as well. Next we have customers. Anytime a customer creates an account on your website, it's going to add them to this list. You can see that I created an account for myself already, Scott at Level Up Tuts, just for fun. And with these options here, you can see that the account is enabled but is not subscribed to the newsletter. Up top here is some facts about your customers, like they are 100% male at this time. 
Now we also have things like addresses, groups of customers, shopping carts, which is what your customers have in their cart currently, customer service, contacts, and titles. We're gonna be going over customers in a complete video of its own. Now next we have price rules, and that's where you create things like coupons or sales. Next we have modules, which is where you can add on to your site by searching in their own interface here for different types of plugins or themes. Now you can even look specifically at payment type modules just by clicking on payment here. And you can see which ones like this authorized.net module, which ones are the official module. Now we have shipping information, which is going to show you your carriers and your types of shipping. You can also modify your preferences here. Next we have localization, which is, as you could probably guess, where you manage your localization settings for your users of your site. Things like uh, weight unit being pounds, distance in miles, and things of that nature. If you're in the United States, these defaults that you have set up here with your default language is English are probably going to be good for you. Now next we have preferences, which is some things for the site itself, where you can modify the theme. You can choose your theme here. Modify settings for orders, products, customers, SEO. You can do things with the CMS of the site where you have basic pages that aren't attached to products. Now we also have advanced parameters, which is things like CSV import, database backup, logs, and web services. And then administration, which is where you're gonna modify the settings for the administrators of your site, whether they're going to be users with specific permissions and change things like your quick access links. And lastly, we have stats, which is simply where you can see the stats of your website, things like what people are searching for, what people have purchased, pretty much any sort of data that you're gonna to wanna to get out of your site, you can go ahead and search for, and then you can even save your reports. So as you can see, this is the back office of PrestaShop. If you're a store manager or store owner, you're gonna be spending a lot of time here either modifying your settings or adding products or even just seeing what your statistics are, who's buying what and what's happening. Okay, so in the next video, we're gonna get started actually creating some products. So keep watching and we're gonna start getting you up to speed with how you can get your site running in no time. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.